Hello guys, welcome back to another video. In today's video, I'm going to be taking this 2021 Genesis G80 on a POV test drive. This one is the 2.5 turbocharged four cylinder engine. And basically I'm gonna go ahead and take it on a test drive and uh, tell you what I think. It does have two packages. It has the prestige package and the advanced package. But let's go ahead and take it on a test drive and see how it does. All right, let's go ahead and take this 2021 Genesis G80 on a test drive and see how it does. By the way, this one has the advanced package and the prestige package, and it does have the soft closing doors. So when you close the door, if you close the door and you don't close it all the way, basically the door will close by itself. So it will do the rest of the work. But let's go ahead and take in a test drive and see how it does. So this one is the 2.5 turbocharged four cylinder engine and it's connected to an eight speed automatic transmission. There is a 3.5 turbocharged six cylinder. If you want to, if you want more power, basically you could go for that uh, engine if you want to. But this car is really nice, super beautiful and um, nice and spacious. Everything feels very nice. The fan finish is amazing and uh, this dash right here the whole thing is wrapped in leather stitching looks amazing and that one looks very good let's go ahead and take it on the highway and see how it does yep definitely a very good amount of power Nothing too crazy, but it's going to do the job. Super nice and quiet, and um, it does have some of the plastic wraps around the car from the outside, so they're going to be maybe a little bit of um, sound or noise from that, uh, from those plastic. Super, super quiet in here. Brakes feel nice and uh, confident and uh, they have a really nice bite to them. The screen is 14.3 inches and it looks amazing. This one has the advanced package and the prestige package. And the price on this one is 60,000. Let's go ahead and activate the link keep assist, uh, steering assist. The link keep assist is already activated. And let's go ahead and activate the cruise control. Uh, let's go ahead and click on mode. And uh, basically it's going to follow the car in front of me. And it's going to do basically everything. Steering, the steering will do all the adjustment that it needs. Let's go ahead and increase the speed. And uh, the following distance is right here, so you could decrease it or increase it. So a very nice uh, system and that system gets activated at 20 miles per hour. So the steering assist gets activated at 20 miles per hour, which is crazy. Brakes are nice and uh, it does have Cold seats, heated uh, heated seats, uh, heated steering wheel. This is a touch screen. And you could adjust uh, where the air is coming from. So of course that's nice. The screen has Apple CarPlay and Android Auto. Let's go ahead and put the car in sport mode and see how it does. All 
All right, so under the hood, they're going to be a 2.5 four-cylinder engine that is connected to an eight-speed automatic transmission. And the horsepower numbers are 300 horses, and the torque numbers are 311 pound-feet of torque. And uh, from a four-cylinder, I think those numbers are pretty good, and it does sound really good too. So at low speeds, the 2.5 doesn't sound as good as the six cylinder, which is expected, of course. But honestly, driving it now and having it in sport mode, it sounds as good as the six cylinder. I'd honestly go with more packages rather than going for a faster engine. So I'd choose the 2.5 with more features and packages over the 3.5 with no packages. Definitely gets up to speed very quick. Let's go ahead and put it in comfort mode. Everything becomes nice and comfortable, nice and quiet, and uh, the ride quality is amazing. The suspension setup is really nice and I love the design of the steering wheel. It looks very good. It does have an opening right here in the bottom and you can just literally put your hand like this and drive this way. The screen is 14.5 inches. It does have Apple CarPlay and Android Auto. And there is just so many settings and things that you could uh, control from this screen. The way how it's integrated into the dash, just it just looks amazing. You could uh, play some nice uh, relaxing sounds. You could change the ambient lighting. Uh, you could do just so many things. It does have built-in navigation. That looks very good. And uh, seriously, interior looks very good. Here is the dash or the uh, that wood trim on the dash. It just looks very good. So the suspension is nice and comfortable in sport mode. I really wish it was a tiny bit stiff, uh, but uh, you could push it hard around corners, but I wouldn't take it. No, I wouldn't take super hard corners with this uh, uh, G80, but hopefully Genesis comes out with a G80 that has like a black appearance package or that is a little bit more sportier. So that would be really cool. Like basically all the chrome around the car gets blacked out. Uh, well, uh, the wheels uh, basically get blacked out. That would be super nice. Just like more like an appearance package. But it would be even nicer if they actually come out with something that is faster than the G80, which is like maybe something like, um, like what Audi does with their Audi A4, S4, or basically Mercedes-Benz with their AMG but not full M AMG or BMW with their M340 instead of like the actual M3 so something like in the middle that would be really nice hold the pad hold the plus paddle shifter for a few seconds basically we'll put it back in automatic mode and that applies to most of the cars transmission is nice and responsive Downshifting is nice and responsive, but upshifting is a little bit on the slower side. And it does have the camera on right underneath the mirror. And it does have a panoramic sunroof. That looks very good. And the way how the shades close, they basically um, meet e each other in the middle. It's not like they don't go back They basically um, close in a split design. Basically, they just close and meet in the middle instead of like a whole thing that goes back and then it goes back again. So that's very cool. Let's go ahead and put it in sport mode again and try to see if we could push this uh, G80 around this corner.
definitely in sport plus or sport mode um, the car becomes louder of course this is the uh, this, uh, the, the sound that comes from the speaker, basically the fake sound that comes from the speaker just makes you feel like you are in a really nice fast car. But uh, yeah, definitely that sound, uh, that sound adds more enjoyment and more fun to the uh, driving um, of this car, of course, and uh, it's, it's, it's nice. Uh, but seriously, this thing, this thing is really fun to drive even though the suspension is a little bit on the softer side. But still, you could push it but I wouldn't push it too hard so it's not bad everything looks very good yep definitely it's not gonna handle that so it does have of course a torque uh, steer limit it's not it's not going to handle every single thing uh, so you have to keep your eyes on the road of course uh, all the time yes it is a great system but you have to keep your eyes on the road 24 7 such a beautiful car and if you guys are curious about the MPG numbers, they are 22 in the city, 30 highway and 25 combined and I think those numbers are pretty good for the 300 horses that this G80 has and the 311 pound-feet of torque um, this G80 has. Uh, it does have uh, a wireless phone charger, you have two USBs in the bottom, and cup holders are right here, nice and big and here is the pad that will control the screen and honestly this car is really nice. Uh, I did mention the price, uh, but I'm gonna go ahead and mention the price one more time. It's 60,000, and I think you are getting a good amount of stuff yeah, in this G80 for 60,000. Honestly, this camera helps a lot. But yeah, driving on the highway, it's very nice and comfortable. And uh, as I told you guys, the suspension setup on this G80 is very, very comfortable. Seats are nice and comfortable as well. And uh, it's such a comfortable car to drive. So it's going to give you a warning every few seconds, I would say, probably every 15 seconds uh, telling you you have to touch the steering wheel. So all you have to do is just wiggle it or just put your hands on it. And um, basically the car just wants to know that you're paying attention, that's all. Let me see if I could uh, show you what I'm talking about, about the shade on this uh, G80 because it's super cool. So the way how the shade closes, it closes this way and basically they just meet each other in the middle which is uh, pretty cool. I don't think I've seen that anywhere. And there is no wheel spin when taking a left or right turn like this and uh, flooring it all the way. So that's nice. Of course, it doesn't have enough power and it's a little bit on the heavier side. So the car is uh, heavy. So they're not going to be a lot of uh, all wheel spin. So it's nice and solid, uh, but probably with the 3.5, maybe you could get some wheels uh, to spin, but I think their system is pretty good. So that's good. Seriously, such a quiet car. And uh, the styling just looks amazing. This is, of course, fake in the metal. This is functional. All the way down there, this is functional. It does have um, the auto uh, uh, turn off or the engine shut off when you come to a complete stop. It will basically uh, turn off the engine uh, to save some gas. And you can turn it on or off from right here. Here is a link assist, traction control, brightness control, electronic e-brake, and a trunk release. It does have a Lexicon sound system. Here is the armrest. 
with the storage armrest, 12 uh, volt inside, and uh, there is no other 12 volt, I think. I'm not sure if there's one on the side. So I think there's only one 12 volt. But seriously, such a beautiful car, guys. It does have cold seats, heated seats, heated steering wheel, which I have actually turned on. It does have two stages, so that's nice. Most of the companies, they usually have one stage uh, heated uh, steering wheel. But guys, what do I think about this G80? I think this is an amazing machine and uh, I'm definitely going to be driving 3.5 turbocharged V6. But guys, I hope you enjoyed this uh, video of this 2021 G80 2.5. I would like to thank Faraz here at Key Hyundai in Milford, Connecticut. If you guys are around and if you guys are interested, make sure to come check them out. I'm gonna go ahead and uh, put the information and link in the bottom of this video. And if you guys would like to see more videos like this, please subscribe and as always, I'll see you next time.